what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here looks like we have another wrench thrown in the ongoing delays that we have regarding the jason Voorhees franchise friday the 13th another lawsuit in the making um we already know we have what's going on with victor miller uh now it seems like sean s cunningham has he is going after warner brothers for profit lost profit apparently mishandled profit so that's now got everyone thinking that this is just another another thing holding us back from getting jason Voorhees back on the big screen revisiting this franchise going back to camp crystal lake and honestly it's 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 hurting so many other things i got really frustrated with this whole situation when because i was a big fan of the friday the 13th game not a perfect game by any means but all of the content and the dlc that was coming out for it was just making it better and better and better uh they had just released story mode and then here we go with this lawsuit now affecting the game and it's just like now we don't have anything we like have nothing for jason nothing the most recent thing that i think jason fans would be satisfied with that we've gotten is that shout factory collection that came out last year um that's the only thing we've gotten and it seems like we're fur getting further and further away from ever seeing jason on the screen again now this new lawsuit might not stop us from that because apparently it has nothing to do with what was officially reported at first because it says thr the hollywood reporter reports friday the 13th producer sean cunningham has launched a new lawsuit over net profits from the horror franchise according to a complaint filed on thursday in los angeles superior court the studios distributing the films have systematically misaccounted contingent or contingent i don't know how to pronounce that compensation now i'm not in this field so anyone who understands this better than i do go ahead and fill in the gaps but basically um there was some clarity on what exactly is going on by one of the former cast members larry's larry zerner who's now like an entertainment lawyer of sorts like an attorney when it comes to entertainment in the hollywood industry so he said that the lawsuit alleges that alleges that the defendants basically used hollywood accounting to cheat sean out of the profits he was supposed to get from the reboot this is fairly common lawsuit in hollywood and will probably result in defendants paying sean some money in the future will this lawsuit stop any future friday 13 movies from being produced hard to say if things are worked out with victor miller and that's big if there is nothing stopping sean and warner Bros. from going forward on a new movie so basically this has nothing to do with those with the entire franchise this is only concerning the reboot uh sean is going to be represented apparently by johnson and johnson a very experienced beverly hills law firm handling those sorts of hollywood accounting cases and it's only concerning profits of the 2019 friday the 13th reboot so apparently he doesn't even see this he, he he's saying it's hard to say um there's nothing stopping sean and warner brothers from going forward on a new movie if things are worked out with victor miller so ultimately it seems like whatever happens with victor miller and that whole thing will be what de will be what determines what f what next step will be in this franchise so like i've already done a previous video talking about what i would like to see that whole jason jason lives sequel that's been proposed has already has like a script ready to go or like some outline details that have already been prepared by the jason lives writer he has an idea of where he wants to go he wants to do a direct sequel to that i think that would be a good way to go um some people want to see a sequel to jason x you have to fill me in on how they would even do that i think a sequel to jason x is absolutely a that's an absolutely horrific idea to even try to tackle such just such a thing because jason x in itself was such a wreck of a film so if you want to take that on go for it but ultimately i see this movie getting rebooted once again when we finally do get to see jason Voorhees he's back on the big screen or the small screen whatever capacity it is because i think also at one point there was supposed to be another friday the 13th tv series uh an actual tv series regarding camp crystal lake that was going to be on the cw that got halted now i don't believe it got halted due to this lawsuit but they're like there's just so many things that have come and gone since 2009 in that reboot and it's just like can we get something regarding jason i'm not even the biggest jason fan honestly i'm a i'm a fan of the franchise but he's like my least favorite out of the big three but even i'm getting tired of this i'm just getting tired of everything that has to do with jason just being something with the lawsuits and no, more lawsuits and back and forth back and forth jason is just like being held down by this and i think the judge who was overseeing the miller case there's a wrench in that because that judge apparently somebody involved with it recently died so that's on pause 
So it's just like Jason can't catch a break. And I just, I know other fans of the franchise are, they're just like, they, they're tired of it. I, I'm not necessarily someone who is tired of it. Cause again, he's my least favorite. I could probably keep going on and on and on with this stuff without an issue. Yes. It's starting to bother me, but I, I probably have a few more years before I actually get tired of it because I, again, I'm not, Jason's not my go-to. My favorite out of the three is Freddy. Uh, and we haven't gotten a Freddy movie in quite some time, <laughs> but I know people who are diehard Jason fans, this is this, these delays and all this stuff that's holding it back has got to be bothersome for you guys. So I definitely hope this gets resolved. Anyone who has any clarity on what exactly this who wants to explain these law things in better terms in the comment section go right ahead but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video